in this video we are going to discuss the characteristics of a good program so these are the characteristics of a good program portable efficient effective reliable user friendly and self documenting let's see what all these mean portable when you have developed a program a software then it should be able to run on all the same types of computer what does same type of computer mean it means that if you have developed it for personal computers it should be able to run on all personal computers if it has been developed for server then it should be able to run on all the servers without much customizations efficient it should do the assigned task quickly it should be code optimized memory optimized and all other possible optimizations that are possible for efficiently running the program all that should be a feature of a good program it should be effective whatever problem is to be solved it should solve it properly and completely and correct result should be obtained reliable the program should give the same output every time that software or a part of the software is run it is not that once the program is run then it gives output a if after 10 20 30 iterations the program is run then it will give an output b no that should not happen it should be user friendly the people who are using it those users who are the end users if they are using it and finding it difficult to use the interface is not good they are not able to understand there are not enough icons or there are not enough clickable elements they have to write so many things then you have failed in developing a good program the program should be very user friendly at each and every step starting from the interface last but not the least it should be self documenting the program documents are very important during implementation training the user and maintenance phases so the software that you develop must be self documenting what does that mean any program or software whose identifier names module names etc can describe itself the names of the variables or the modules or the functions should be such that when you look at that name you read that name you understand what that variable is supposed to hold or what that function is supposed to do in our next video we are going to look at how we can give proper identifier names